Now, if you're holding out the prospect of a foreign getaway, then from May the 17th, people in England can now travel to 12 countries on the green list without having to quarantine upon return, including Portugal, Israel, Australia, and that tourist hotspot, the South Sandwich Islands. A gold star for anyone who can find them on the map. The Transport Secretary also announced that people who've had both doses of a COVID vaccine will be able to use the NHS app to show that they are fully vaccinated. Fatima Manji reports. Whether you're seeking sun or desperate for an international family reunion, the announcement on lifting travel restrictions for England has been much awaited. So here it is. A traffic light system means with testing, travel to green countries like Portugal is allowed and no quarantines required. Amber countries mean quarantine at home. These include France, while red countries still require mandatory hotel quarantine on return. Turkey, where the Champions League final is being held, has been added to that list. You can check your symptoms in the app. And, and people who've had both vaccine doses will be able to show their status using the NHS app. Nobody, nobody wants to go back into lockdown. Not ever. And that's why today's announcement, removing the stay in the UK restrictions from the 17th of May, is necessarily cautious. We must make absolutely sure that the countries we reconnect with are safe. Yet even as the mood turns to looking outward, there are continued reminders of how vigilant we need to be. In Bolton, surge testing is ongoing to try and identify the Indian variant in asymptomatic people. The town has the second highest rate in the UK. Officials say many of the cases are linked to travel or contact with a traveller. And while the vaccine programme is still on track to offer a jab to all adults by the end of July, Anyone aged under 40 will now be offered an alternative to AstraZeneca because of a higher risk of blood clots. But will that be straightforward? Many pregnant women say they're struggling to access specific vaccines. MP Stella Creasy, pregnant herself, has been campaigning. I've had my jab because somebody's dropped out, but it shouldn't be like this. You know, pregnant women are being given the runaround by the current system. I had five different letters and texts inviting me to go and have my vaccine, but I couldn't book any of them because I couldn't guarantee it would be the vaccine that we've been told as pregnant women we have to have. Specifically on pregnant women, we know that Pfizer or Moderna is preferable for them, but we are hearing some reports that pregnant women are struggling to access those particular vaccines. So can you give any update on that in particular? We're not saying that uh, the other vaccines are in any way harmful or uh, should not be given, uh, simply that where it's available, we should offer, if possible, the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines to women who are pregnant. Um, in terms of the access to such vaccines, uh, I understand there have been some reports of difficulties in accessing the vaccines. I certainly hope that operationally, NHS England uh, will be able to overcome those difficulties in access. There are reports tonight that the vaccine booking system will be amended in coming days to help pregnant women access specific jabs.